Chanel, the brand hustler, checking in. So just to catch you up on a little bit of what's going on, this channel used to be called Nelly May, but now it is called The Brand Hustler because I recently started teaching women how to love brand and grow their businesses through marketing strategies that I've been using for a very, very long time and in my very own business as well. So now this channel is dedicated to dropping all of these little free gems for you guys so that you guys can too work on your business, research, do all that stuff that you need to do. If you saw the title, you already know what is going on. On. Okay, today I'm about to share with you the essentials to running an online business. And even though my business isn't a boutique, I did own a boutique just this year and it is on hold but it's coming back. So my essentials are still essentials because, hello, like they work for every business and it's even better because now I know like boutique side of business and now I know the digital side of business. So you get two for one with me. So if you're ready for all of this stuff that you're about to learn, all of these gems that are about to be dropped, and a little insiders, you know, if you're ready, grab your notebook, grab your pen, sit back, get a glass of water or something, and get ready to take it all in because I'm about to give you information overload on the essentials you need to run your very own business, okay? So first, I think you should get an app or sign up for an account on a website called QuickBooks, right? If you don't wanna pay for QuickBooks, you can sign up for it, the free version, which is a competitor, and it's called Wave. Now, Wave is free. Wave isn't sponsoring me. QuickBooks is very affordable. They're not sponsoring me. I'm just letting you know some tidbits, right? So, both of these things, what they both do is they allow you to track your business's expenses and your revenue. Why is this important? This is important because in the business world, you have to pay taxes. And so, it makes it super easy to see what tax breaks you're gonna get. It calculates how much you need to pay. Another reason why you wanna track your expenses is because you need to know how much you're spending. And if you're overspending in certain areas, you can see that if you're tracking where your money's going. And then you can change that and instead use that money to invest into other part of your businesses into other parts of your business. Sorry, I said businesses because I just assume like, you know, y'all wanna start multiple businesses and stuff, but you know, we'll get there. I gotta take it one step at a time. The next thing I suggest is definitely getting Amazon Prime. Why? Because Amazon has a lot of the packaging and a lot of the things that I'm about to tell you in the next couple of sections. When you have Amazon Prime, you get free two-day shipping, which Sometimes it's free one day shipping and everything just comes faster. So if you run out of poly mailers or something, or if you run out of something that you need, you can get it like real quick. Like you don't need to keep your customers waiting like a week or two to then ship out their things. Because if you ran out of something, you get it real quick, you package it, you're ready to go. The next couple of things are gonna sound a little bit cliche, but trust me, they've helped me so much when I had my boutique up and running, they've helped me so much now that I'm planning my relaunch and they've helped me so much with the brand Hustler, right? And these three cliche but very important things are a planner. So my best friend actually got me this planner earlier this year and I've been using it. Sometimes I fall off, but then I just get right back. It's really, really cool. It has to-do lists. It has, of course, calendars, room for you to take notes, all that stuff. So this is like the holy grail, right? Having a planner, setting those goals, and making sure that you have the dates when you want to complete those tasks, those goals, and get those business um, things up and out the way, right? Then, the next thing that you need is a notebook. So I have a bunch of notebooks for different things. I have a notebook for um, the Brand Hustler. I have a notebook for my clients within the Brand Hustler. I have a notebook for my boutique. I have a notebook for investments I wanna make. I have a notebook for everything, okay? 
notebook 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 i'm super old-fashioned i literally write everything down and then i type it if i need to type it but if not it's just written in my notebook so grab you one i got this particular one it says bring it on um this one is supposed to be my notebook for when i start to read my books i'm going to take notes on all the books i read but this one was from walmart and i think it was like six or seven dollars um, and it's in a journal format, but you can get notebooks from the Dollar Tree, you get notebooks from Amazon, you get notebooks from Target in the little red dot little section where they be having all the dollar to ten dollar deals. You can get all of that stuff um, there. The next thing is a binder. So I like a binder because whenever like I'm out and on the go or if I have like something that I get like say I have like a paper or a contract or something and I want to have it on me like at all times or when I go to like certain meetings or something I like to punch holes in it and then have it in my binder I also use my binder for my clients as well so for my client meetings I'll take my binder and I'll take notes in my binder just to keep all of my client notes like on me wherever I go for the most part um so this binder has been super super um good to me so this is super essential to me you may not need it but because i'm old-fashioned like i said i literally like to keep paper copies of everything so when i got my llc registered i got the paper copy my ein i got the paper copy mailed to me i got it online too but i got the paper copy i printed it out um if i apply to any wholesalers and stuff like that and we'll talk about that in other videos, how to apply to wholesalers and how to get those wholesale accounts. But when I applied to certain wholesalers, I wanted to keep a paper copy of everything. When I got my shipments with my inventory, I kept a paper copy of everything because sometimes the wholesalers will mess up my order or forget something or something will come damaged. And I literally notate that on the packing slip that they give me and then i would um ad attach additional notes if needed staple it and literally put it into my accordion folder and i'm gonna show you what that looks like but give me a second because it's kind of full i got a lot of stuff in there hold on oh this <laughs> is my accordion folder so it's called an accordion because when you get it it's like close together it's not gonna close all the way because i got stuff in it and then it literally can expand as wide as the material will let it and so i literally have a bunch of stuff in here literally like stuff sticking out i got my ruler in here i got a bunch of stuff in here like this is like the holy grail for me like i love 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 this um where did i get this from i got this from amazon and my boyfriend bought it from me but it was only 12.95 don't quote me on the exact scent okay because i know some people like to come for you when it's not the exact scent so don't quote me but it's like about 12 13 dollars that i got this for but you could get a bigger one you could get like a two pack whatever and it'll be a different price but i got this from amazon <laughs> on prime okay some people feel like business cards are old-fashioned or something like that but honestly business cards are like a holy grail because if you're out and about you're at an event you're at the mall or whatever and you happen to run into somebody and you're talking to them handing them your business card to let them know about your business is so quick and easy instead of you saying oh my goodness pull up your phone let me tell you my instagram let me tell you my website let me tell you what whatever you can literally tell them, okay, I do this, I do here, I sell clothes, I sell here, I do lashes, whatever you do, and say, hey, here's my business card, all the information is on there, if you ever need anything, contact me, but you can see everything on my website. Business cards are definitely the holy grail. So this is what my boutique's business card used to look like. It just says dime piece on the front, and it had what the catchphrase used to be. So I don't use Vistaprint anymore. But Vistaprint was definitely where I started off at. I designed it myself. Um, but if you need somebody to design your business cards, I do design business cards, thank you cards, all of that stuff. Uh, but, you know, if you want to do it yourself, design it yourself and go on Vistaprint and get it printed out. Um, if you get it designed by somebody else or by me, you can still get it printed on Vistaprint. Or if the person offers printing and it's cheaper than Vistaprint, um, then definitely go with them. Because when you order with me, my printing is actually cheaper than Vistaprint just because... I have printers that give me a cheaper price than Vistaprint, so I'll pass the savings down. But, you know, whatever. Enough self-promotion. Let's continue. So, the next thing is thank you cards. So, thank you cards are definitely essential because 
they are a way of not only thanking people for their purchase but also welcoming them to come back and shop so i always tell people to get thank you cards and put them in their packages at all times so this is what my thank you card looked like um for my shoe boutique it said your dime right here so thank you for your purchase it had my old logo and it said tag us on instagram and then the back looked like this it had a code for them to get ten dollars to come back off and shop you can see the code because like i said my store is on pause right now you can't use the code and when it's rebranded the code isn't going to be the same so that's what it looked like the back the front and i also designed these myself and then i printed them at the time on vista print but now i go through like different printers for my clients so that's that for people who are doing local drop-offs or for people who do like a lot of pop-up shops in-person events in-person sales it's super annoying to always have to do cash app and then for you to run into people who don't have cash app so here's a little tea on that you can get a card processor for free for the the most part from what i know you can get one from square for free if you sign up for their account and you use square you can get one from shopify so this one right here is from shopify and I got it completely for free and I'll open it and I'll show you what it looks like and PayPal also sends them out if you create a business PayPal account um, I didn't order mine from PayPal yet because I just always use the Shopify one but I'm about to because I want more but I have two Shopify ones right now if you open it um, this is like what it looks like it looks like this and the card literally goes into the top if it has a if it has a chip or it swipes on the side if it doesn't have a chip and it comes with a little stand charger and everything so you literally plug it into this and plug it into the wall for it to charge um and you can also use this as the stand so you can put it on your table basically and then it could just be there it connects through bluetooth and wi-fi and so you can have it standing on your table and then somebody could come and say they want this that the third and then you literally you know ring up the order and then it automatically, if you have Shopify, it will automatically kind of send signals to that so that it knows how much to charge the card. So now, I mentioned pop-up shops, right? So, an essential for me when I was doing a pop-up shop, because I sold shoes, were stands. These can be used, you can get stands for your jewelry, you can get stands for, um, you know, your hair, the little wig heads, whatever you need. These are what my stands look like because these were stands for shoes. But stands were an essential for me because people want to see the shoe before they like buy it. So I was able to put some of my shoes that I wanted highlighted on the table um, so that people could come and they could see it, right? Another thing for pop-up shops or for in-person sales are going to be bags. So if you're lucky and you sell small things, you can get super cute gift bags and things like that. My shoes were shoe boxes. I needed big bags. I wasn't spending a lot of money on them, so I got these. I think these ran me about maybe $50 for a pack of like $200 um, on Amazon again. Um, and so they're this size. They have the little black twill handle. Um, and they got the job done. They were black. My colors are black, pink, um, and silver. So they got the job done. People look great in these bags and bada bing, bada boom. This is not an essential, but it's an essential for me because I'm kind of extra when it comes to doing pop-up shops. But I love for people to know my table before they get to my table. I always bring a table runner. So the table runner looks like this. And I put up a picture of me at one of my pop-up shops with this table runner but this was like the top of the table it had the eye with the dime in it and then at the front of the table this is the part that kind of hung off with the name and like pictures of my shoes and things like that and my website <laughs> it's so cute that I think I still want to use it even after I rebrand <sighs> but I think this cost me only about 20 something or 30 dollars I don't remember but if you don't know how to design these, which I know a lot of you may not know how to, I do design them. Um, so you can hit me up. You can email me. You could just go to my website. Like packaging and shipping are like one of the most confusing parts of starting an online business that sells physical things. I was 
like what do I do what do I buy and I just want to apologize if this video is going to be over 20 minutes but I mean I'm trying to pour out I'm trying to help you I'm trying to give you stuff that people will charge you to like give you this information like that's how you know I really look out like so if you want more of these tidbits, go ahead and follow my Instagram at the brand hustler. Check me out. Check out my website. Do all that stuff. But girl, I am here to help, okay? But yes, let's get into this packaging section. So the first thing that you are going to need is a scale, right? When you're packing and shipping your own stuff from home, which I will do a video on that. There's no need for the post office, which means you need to weigh your stuff yourself, right? So, get yourself a scale. They have actual package scales that run you about like $20, $25. I was super cheap. I bought me a little kitchen scale. This was from Amazon. I think it was $7.99. So, if you're not selling something super heavy, um, you can use this kitchen scale. They tend to only go up to maybe like five pounds. Um, and I sold shoes this has never failed me and it only goes up to about five pounds i believe i think i don't know don't quote me on that but i think it only goes up to about five pounds but it does pounds and ounces and i got a kitchen scale the next thing that you're going to need are labels so for me i use a regular printer my printer is a canon uh, hold on i'm gonna get the answer for you be right back my printer is a Canon MP280. It comes with a scanner and a printer all in one for my needs. So I have a regular printer. I didn't want to invest at the time. I think it was like 150 or something like that for a thermal label printer. So I just used the printer that I had and I bought these. These are label sheets. So what these are, are these are like regular sized papers that fit in your printer, but they split them in half and they have a sticky back side to it. So you can literally just put these into your regular printer and then when you're printing your labels to um, get ready to ship out your packages, they'll print on half of the page and then you literally just peel it off and stick it on the package. Super easy. Um, but if you don't have a printer already and you just want to go ahead and invest into one of those label printers, you can. Um, the one that I suggest is Dymo Label Printer 4XL or the, I think it's Rilo printer. Um, you can go ahead and get those. The good thing about those is they don't use ink. So once you buy them, you only have to worry about buying the labels over and over. You don't have to worry about the ink because they print based on heat. They don't print based on ink. So that's cool. But if you do want to go my route and use a traditional printer, I got these from Etsy from, here's a little secret. It's a shop called Value Mailers. Value, V-A-L-U-E, Mailers on Etsy, okay? And I got 400 of these for $15 and shipping was free. And I'll put all the links to these things, all the links that I can find and gather together, I'll put them in the description box. So... Boom, moving on. For me, and for those people who sell like jewelry or anything like that, or if you sell shoes too and you wanna relabel your boxes because you wanna name stuff what you want, instead of paying your wholesaler for the jewelry people to label it for you, which they, they try to tax, they tax per item, okay? Or um, instead of having your shoes go out as a random different name, even though you're advertising it on your website as a completely different name that you made up, you can relabel them, right? And what you need to do, and my printer just fell before I had to show y'all, so if it's broken, I'm going to be very upset. But you can use a label printer like this. Um, this is a Dymo as well. This one is a Label Writer 450. I think this runs about 60 65 70 maybe $80. I got it as a gift for Christmas, so I don't know the exact price. So if you're selling something that's super fragile, so if you're selling sunglasses, jewelry, things that may break, you want to invest in bubble mailers, you can get those from Amazon or from Etsy. But if you're not selling something that can break, like if you're selling clothes, or for me, I was selling shoes and I was sending it in the boxes, um, and even when I didn't send them in the boxes, shoes aren't really something that would break. I used poly mailers and so I got my poly mailers from Etsy from value mailers again a hundred poly mailers and I got a huge size I got like 
16 by 19 or something like that. Um, it's a huge size, um, and I got 100 of those for $15 from Value Members. Once again, shipping was free, um, and I'll show you what they look like. They have different designs. I picked this one. It says, let's go shopping, and it had, like, girls shopping on it, and it was pink and black because those were my colors, and silver on the inside, and black a little bit. So, um, these are my mailers, and I got $100 for $15, and so what I would do is just take my boxes of shoes, I wrap them in, um, some tissue paper, and then I put them in this bag. So, um, tissue paper I actually got from Amazon. You don't have to get tissue paper, it's not an essential, but if you want to be extra like me, you can get tissue paper and ribbon from Etsy, Amazon, Hobby Lobby, anything like that. Um, I think I couldn't find the design I wanted anywhere else, so I got these from Amazon, and I got these, I have it written down because I want to tell y'all the right prices. I got 120 sheets of paper for $9.99, and my ribbon, I got, um, a bunch of different spools of ribbon, and they were about $3 each. Um, so, you can, like, get those from Amazon. You see why I said Amazon Prime is gonna be, like, your best friend? Because if you go running around shopping for something in person, and you can't find it, and Amazon is the best bet to get it from, you automatically know that Amazon is gonna deliver that within two days, okay? So, make sure that you get yourself some Amazon Prime and stop sleeping. Because they're not something to be slept on. Now, if you need boxes to ship your stuff in, you can get regular boxes from the Dollar Tree for a dollar, obviously. You can get boxes from a website called Uline. That's U-L-I-N-E dot com. Or, if you want to be super extra and get custom boxes, there's a website that has a minimum of only 10 boxes. And the prices start off as low as like $3 a box, okay? Depending on the size you want and things like that, that is the price that it starts off at. They've been super affordable um, for me and my clients in the past, and that website is arca.com, so A-R-K-A. -A. But if you want to be super cheap like I am, or you just want to save money for your business, I mean, it's a smart thing to do, always save money, you can get boxes completely for free. And I'm about to tell you how, okay? So, y'all heard of USPS. It delivers your mail every single, not every single day, but for the most part, every single day, they have free boxes for you to get and ship your stuff in. The only catch is you need to ship priority mail or flat rate mail, right? But I always ship priority mail because it always turned out to be the fastest and most affordable way to ship my shoes. Um, so, I'll show you what those boxes look like. These are them. They have different sizes, literally a whole bunch of different sizes. I have about seven of their sizes myself because shoes, when I have sandals, they're smaller. When I have people who order more than one shoe, they were like, you know, they needed a big box. So I got a whole bunch of different sizes and literally all you do is go to USPS.com, you go to shop and then you order, um, packing supplies and they will send this to you completely for free free shipping free everything you can order it for pickup as well from the store or you could just walk in and see what your local USPS has in stock and grab those like literally right off the shelf and walk right out and you put your stuff in here like I said the only catch is you have to ship priority mail if the box says priority or you have to ship flat rate if the box says flat rate that is all for the essentials for running an online business. If you want more information, if you want me to do like a part two where I talk a little bit more about like the technical side of things, kind of like how I mentioned QuickBooks and stuff like that earlier, just let me know in the comment section below. If you need to know anything about business, branding, marketing, that is what I do. Comment down below and let me know what it is that you want to see, what it is you have a question about. Um, make sure that you subscribe to this channel for more content like this. I have a bunch of different videos planned. I want to pour out into you guys, give you guys all the business tea, so make sure that you subscribe. And then, if you're on Instagram, make sure that you follow me at The Brand Hustler. And check out my website. It's www.thebrandhustler.com. Com, but all that info is going to be in the description box anyway, but you can find me anywhere. The Brand Hustler. That's it. Everywhere. Literally. Everywhere. But that is all for this video.
video guys i know it was super duper long i hope you enjoyed it and i hope it helped you and until next time i am about to go bye